You see you, baby. What we have here is a demonstration um, that the Extension Office in Homestead is doing. Um, they're putting in drought tolerant plants uh, to show and demonstrate plants that do very well in our climate and our soils and that survive solely on, on rainwater. So the UCU is here to help with the uh, irrigation part of this project. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run a line from the spigot all the way down to the plants. This is going to be a temporary irrigation. Once these plants are established, they're not, no longer going to need irrigation. We're going to pull it out and it's going to survive off of rain. It's going to be a nice demonstration of what you could put in and not need so much water to maintain. The cool thing about these plants is that these plants could be used for hedges, it could be used for butterfly gardens and things like that. Once you give them the, the proper water in the beginning and establish them, they no longer need that water anymore. You no longer need to irrigate them anymore. They're going to thrive solely on rainwater. This is going to be a, a very uh, helpful thing to us um, because when we go out and do irrigation assessments, uh, we tend to see the um, not the best choices. Um, so now what we have here is plants that do well um, without any irrigation after establishment where a lot of people are choosing plants that are susceptible to bugs and also to diseases. Um, and what people do a lot is actually irrigate it more, stressing the plant out more, where sometimes it's actually the water that's um, causing the problems. What we're gonna use is a drip irrigation line, and it's gonna get the, the, the water right where we need it, which is on the roots and not on the leaf. Once they're established and, they're, and they've been here long enough to be established, we no longer need that and we're going to be removing that line. 